Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about this particular video. You might have missed it because it was on Sports Card Collector. Sports Card Collector, Mr. Jeff Wilson. I've covered him in great detail on my other channel, the, the Lust channel, L-U-S channel, which again, I put a little bit more effort into it because again, it's a lawyer channel, so demands a little bit more effort. So you can check out that channel. And yeah, you might have missed it, but Steve Aoki and Jeff Wilson, they were two of the biggest promoters of, uh, in, also of including Alpha Investments, they were three of the biggest promoters of MetaZoo. Now we know Alpha Investment is tapped out. He has said multiple times that it was not investable and he doesn't want to do anything with it. And it's got heavy bags, but that doesn't mean everyone's tapped out. In fact, these two uh, were actively promoting a MetaZoo byproduct called HeroQuest. So HeroQuest is MetaZoo cards with HeroQuest stamped on them. I think they're specific to Steve Aoki. Uh, Steve Aoki is, he's the hype man behind Pokemon. He was, again, obviously he was promoting MetaZoo and other games. And so he does, I think he does have an honest interest in cards, but from like a hype influential perspective similar to a, a logan paul but with different and a lesser reach right logan paul grew tired of collecting steve aoki still collecting so give him a little benefit of the doubt there but anyway these two guys they have also when mike wardell was making his rounds um they also met with mike wardell they sat down it's on jeff wilson's channel called a sports card investor and they sat down with uh, Mike Wardell, and Mike Wardell, again, gave him the same spiel that uh, he was giving uh, Alpha Investments at the time. And we know that MetaZoo has collapsed, and maybe it's bad ownership. I think uh, there is some, I mean, it won't be as big as it was before, but I think there's maybe out of 100 MetaZoo fans, 95 of them were investors, but you still have the five fans left. And they're still willing to pump money into the product. Um, I, I do think some people are real fans. I'm going to call out the real fans right now. I think uh, Nick Nick and Strengths Pokemon, I think he was a big fan. I believe that is real. There's like an Elvis alien guy. I think he's a big fan. I, I know the, the fans because they're still talking about MetaZoo. They're still commenting about MetaZoo. So there is some fans left, but that's not Rudy Chan, right? Alpha Investment won't ever make a MetaZoo video again because unless he's trying to sell it and sell promos of himself, it's just not going to happen. Um, he can make sorcery videos and sorcery promos with his new grading company, right? So he can make money doing something else, um, and that something else is no longer MetaZoo. So if he cannot make money from MetaZoo, just like an investor, right? An investor is investing to make money then uh, he's going to tap out and say you know what I, i'm done you know i don't want to be part of this you guys do whatever you guys want to do but i'm not going to put money behind this because it doesn't make me money so i do think metazoo has a core audience of people who actually like metazoo but is it a hundred thousand people no, is it 10,000 people? Maybe not even that. Is it 2,000 people? I, I think so, because based on their social media, that's the activity. Now, are those people all going to put in? I mean, you, you can get burned one time, but when you, there's a hope. I mean, I, I think financially speaking, if I had an extra million dollars or two, I would uh, take a gamble. I would uh, take a gamble in this because... A, you save a lot of people with their heavy bags. And B, you do have people who still have large reach, like Steve Aoki, who's still making MetaZoo cards. You can call them HeroQuest, but they look identical to MetaZoo cards when presented by Sports Card Investor. And your Sports Card Investor, who was selling MetaZoo on his day of opening. And I'm sure that Sports Card Investor actually has a lot. And, and this is what I mean. Like, Sports Card Investor is bigger than Alpha Investments. He is. He gets more views. He has more sub subscribers. He's bigger in the industry. Um, and he's covering sports cards, which, you know, is bigger than Magic or Sorcery, of course, right? And he kind of just does sports cards. He doesn't, like, do 
other TCG, but he might do it later on. And he's doing really well. He would be a better person to handle this type of thing because he wouldn't put promos of himself and his son. He would just kind of let the game go. And I think that's from a business standpoint. You know, uh, what do they say? Vanity is a sin. Like, at, why does every blanking set need a picture of Alpha Investment? It doesn't make any sense. Why does every blanking set need playmats of his? Like, you know, you go on eBay, you type in Metal Zoo playmat, whose face is going to be there on like 9 of 10 listings? You type in Metal Zoo promo, whose face will be there? I mean, it's not even um, logical to want to do this. And I think Alpha Investment has now realized this because he's no longer using promos or faces of himself. Uh, in sorcery, he's using old artwork of 1980s, right? And that's a lot better, in my opinion, than using... Because if sorcery somehow, you know, knock on wood, it doesn't go belly up, well, his face is not going to be associated with it, as it is with MetaZoo. Because when <laughs> when you see playmats of himself selling for one penny a playmat, or a dollar for ten playmats, it, it doesn't represent luxury. It doesn't represent brand. That's not Gucci. That's not, you know... Rolex that, that Rolex would not allow somebody to sell 10 Rolexes for $10. They they would probably figure out, "Okay, these are fake Rolexes, right? But these are real playmats." So I think he's evolving and getting smarter, but definitely his partnership with MetaZoo was a disaster for MetaZoo. I think most people will agree on that. I think um long term, you you could have a disaster, but like this is a massive disaster. Could Jeff Wilson save MetaZoo? I think he could. I think he could. Uh, I think he's the type of guy. He has a business head. I, I don't like him. You know, I don't like him one iota. But give him, you know, credit. He's built a giant card shop. And even if you think the card shop's going to fail, he at least did it. Right? That's more than Alpha Investment has done. Right? Alpha Investment doesn't have a card shop. Like, people pretend he does, but he doesn't. No one's actually been to the location. The Fugazi guys, no one's been to the location in, like, what, four, five, six years? So he, he's one of these uh, online vendors that don't actually have a card shop, and then they just sell directly. To, I mean, it's no different than a distributor. People get so upset at distributors who pretend that they're card shops, but, and they have warehouses, but isn't that, like, his model? People get so upset at Amazon for slashing prices every local game but isn't that the business model you pay a monthly fee and then you get to buy a distribution cost so give jeff credit um he has opened a card shop which is really important for any card game to have a place where like yeah I mean, he could just have a little section of meta zoo or, or whatnot stream it whatnot um that's that's the hope that is the hope that every meta zoo fan now has in their hearts and minds <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.